Young Jinkai edited a loss last time because he's put like in 24 hours. Twenty-four hours. Okay, right now we see uh, Jeff Houston, our ring announcer. Ladies and gentlemen, now making his way to the Road FC cage, Young Jun Kai. Very young fighter. And he's got the baby face to prove it. <laughs> he has two losses streak against Seyoung Kim and Lee Kan Chang. Well, this is going to be a really tough match for the guy because he's going to be facing Sun Chen. Now, he's a... Going strong with a 4 and 1 record. Right. Brazilian Jiu Jitsu expert Shin might have different tactics. Well, a Sanda fighter versus a Brazilian Jiu Jitsu expert, we can pretty much expect this one to go to the ground at some point. But, uh, Jin Min's coach, Lung Shik Song, is the first Korean fighter who's offered by the UFC. He's got a pretty good camp there. Great coach. Young Jinkai has also knocked out Du Seok Oh. And enter Sun Min Shin, his appointment, uh, his opponent. Well, he's a point appointment also. <laughs> it is a point. Fighters in Ruta C can put snare shield type pace like that under under supervision of Ruta C officials. The taping is allowed. Is allowed. As long as it's uh, and the opponent has to agree. So I can say I don't want you to tape. Then I can't do it. <laughs> <laughs> That's how it works. That's how it works here. Well, I guess if you want to be cheesy, you can be like, "Hey, I don't want you to tape." I had to transfer uh, translate for. Uh, Emmy, because uh, she wants to tape on her foot. That's right, that's right. She doesn't have any ligaments left on the right foot, I heard. All right, from the, all those years of fighting. Uh -huh. We will now introduce the fighters of the featherweight fight of Xiaomi Road FC Young Guns 32. Ladies and gentlemen, we are now set for the next battle of the evening here at Young Guns 32 in the Road FC Featherweight Division, presented to you by Shelby. Introducing to you first, fighting out of the blue corner, he stands 177 centimeters tall, his official weight, 65.8 kilos. He is a Sunda fighter, with a professional record of two victories, opposite three defeats. He represents the Guangdong Glory Fight Club, fighting out of China, Yang Chu. Kai! Yang Jun Kai. How is he going to figure out how to stay away from the grabbing reach of his opponent? He might not try to grab. So he might try to stand up. Well, he's got some kickboxing under him too, so... He has a versatile style. He can use whatever, but he's got to put it together well. Chul Kim is the referee for this fifth match. Okay. 
Both men in uh, red trunks. Junkai in the red trunks and Sigmin in the red shorts. With the blue tape on his right shoulder. Round one. Young Jin Kai taking the center of the cage. Actually, they oh, yeah. Very nice counter by Young Jin Kai. Connected a left there. But Shin, as she expected. And got the takedown. Okay, Junkai trying to figure out a way how to, he's trying to push him off. And, oh, another beautiful counter there. Does he has the choke. It's Junkai who's got the back, he's got the choke. He has it. He has the choke. Good. doesn't have it. Oh, he has he's defending it. it. Still has it. Still still he's has defending it. it right now. Okay, he's out. Okay, he's out. He lost that grip. That was, that was close. The Sydney and I held on to Junkai's other arm. He has the right defense for that. Chukai was just not able to get the block in full. Okay, now they're regathering. There we go again. It's Chukai's distance here. A long Chukai's a little gas here. Here is is the more active one here, but he's gotta notice that Jin Kai is out of gas. Tran Jin Kai stepping in with the jab, going for a takedown, defended. Nice combination by some. Jab and he's just doing it so comfortably, able to reach his opponent. Yeah, right oh, very nice down, very nice take down. Can Yang Jinkai utilize the case to get up there? Looks like he's using it. Gotta be able to get out quickly. Yeah, see that? That's the difference between fighting the ring and fighting the cage. You can always utilize the cage. Half stand up and half bottom. You can always use that as your as your advantage for your advantage. And he's got another takedown. Very nice takedown. <laughs> Elusive. Sungin has a clinch right now, but yeah, very nice knee kick by Sungin. I don't think that clinch looked very detailed. Yeah, Jin Kai can get out in time. sungmin has got to look for a takedown instead because that clinch is not that stable. And uh, he's going for it. He's got the back. Kai is right. Oh, very nice transition by Sungin. Utilize that uh, that balance, yeah, the, the change momentum. of the balance. Let's well, try that momentum. He has the knee on the belly. Not perfectly, well, but he's looking for top to gain a better position on Chikai. He has the back again. And look, look how Chikai has his. Uh, very nice takedown, just as directed by his coach. Kai doesn't seem to have any counter here. 
He's got to shove his knee in. Yeah, just like that. To make distance. To create that space to get out of there. Good. So he has the top out. Now it's just party time. He can throw anything there. If he can keep that balance up there. Oh. Left. Uh -huh. A little hasty for submission, but nice try though. Oh. Very nice. Okay. And he both knees were legal. That was, was it the second legal. one? The was, second one was, uh, was questionable, right? Where any weighted, any weight was on the hand, it was illegal. I saw the referee was giving him a warning because it was illegal. When there's no weight on the hand. If the if someone gets put hands on the ground, technically, that that can be considered legal. But that was weight on. That was there was weight on that hand. Okay, there's there's where he's going for the choke, Jukai. Now he's trying to get his left arm up and uh, defending well. Seeing it's just uh, his back position was not stable enough to hold him there. Now we're gearing up for the second round of the fifth match of this evening, live from the Grand Hilton Convention Center in Seoul. There's Sung Min, uh, there's uh, Yang Jun Kai. And here they go. Sungin started out with the leg kick there, but did connect. Very nice front kick by Yang Jinkai. Yang Jinkai who's going forward, pressing his opponent to the cage side. Sungin is moving left and left and to the right to lure Yang Jinkai into his range. It's kind of too far away for anyone to attack here. Okay, they close it in. And Yang Jinkai got a distance again by throwing kicks punches. Oh, very nice left hook, right hook. Left and right, connected. And then very nice transition to a single leg takedown. Okay, Yang Jinkai doesn't have any weapons of ours now here. Okay, for this situation, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu fighters tend to pass to the side position, while uh, MMA fighters or wrestlers want that half guard because it's stable because you have the leg. You can hit, an opponent, hit the opponent in a stable position. Okay. He has the side position, side control here. That's one point for ground control, according to the ground control. He's looking for a uh, triangle choke, but his coach is asking him not to do it. He's in a tricky position, but he did get out. Three minutes left. Another leg trip there. So the MG Kai stood up right away. Another takedown. Okay, Junkai's not uh, having the best night of his life right now. No, he's really unprepared for this. He has punches and kicks, but he doesn't have MMA to be here prepared for this fight. Maybe he shouldn't have agreed to the tape. Oh, that's right. <laughs> that's right, exactly. Uh -huh. Darn, it's the tape. <laughs> Uh, Yang Jinkai should move to the cage side. Not like that, not like that, but he's got to move to the cage side to get up. Well, he's got to get that half guard by doing the hip escape. Didn't do his homework before he comes here. Armbar. Just have to tighten his Oh, he's got it now. It's tight, it's tight, it's tight. It's tight. He's got to pull it though. Ah, oh, he did pull it. And he's trying to get out. Going for it. He wants it, but the arm is in. He's got to get, get rid of that 
unarmed. Okay, an arm bar here. Very nice, very nice. Oh, slam there. Illegal in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, but it's okay in MMA. You can slam it two, three times or four times whenever you want. As long as you got the strength. Quentin Jackson is well known for many of those slams. And in, when you are in a submission, you can spike your You can also use the up kicks to damage standing opponents. Okay, Jinkai is looking for something. Oh, this is classic. You don't see Ali in the Very nice combination. Very nice. See, when the kickboxers are frustrated and if they get afraid of the ground attacks, they cannot utilize, they cannot do their kicks and punches as they used to do in the training. This is the perfect case for that. She's has been taking Jinkai down several times. Now Jinkai is so frustrated. He's so lost. And then once that timing gets uh, tampered with, then it's tough defending any kind of... Uh, Take down the town. And the uh, tight position again. And the knee on the belt. He wants the top position here. Very nice. Very good attack. Okay, that was the second round. I mean, it was just... Uh, the second round was probably the worst of the one for Junkai. Worst round for him. It's just his his timing basically was all messed up. <laughs> it just looks like Sigmund was able to get in his head. And there's that arm bar attempt. Uh, it did lock in at that point, but uh, it was not on the head. Would that you, was the no problem. Would you call that a flexibility on Junkai's part? Or? It was not in the right angle, I would say. The thumb has to be in the right direction. And uh, and he had to push. He doesn't have to push the head. But in that position, it was better to push the head. But it was on the chest. He didn't have the right angle and right pressure for that. A unanimous decision. Submission. And he takes his record to 5-1 and one with that win. Unfortunately, he does have to take uh, another loss. He gives his record drops to two and four. But he's still a young fighter. He needs more experience. I'm sure he can come back anytime. The next fight that we're going to be getting to this evening is Young Jun Chun versus Ju Wan Kim. And then following the co-main event, Alatang Haley versus Kai Asakura. And then the main event for Young Guns 32, Utah Nezu versus Iquan Zhang. That's all coming up for the Young Guns 32 here live from Grand Hilton Convention Center, Seoul. I'm Young Kim with Yong Jun Zhang. Now, Young Jun, today is going to be a pretty exciting day. Uh, we do have the all-female.